Travel with Olivia. I'm Olivia, and this is the channel where you're going to get news and advice on traveling smart, safe, and with a plan. There are things about travel that make you go, hmm, I didn't know that. For instance, lately on the news, we've been hearing about the changes for the Ontario Health Plan, and now Premier wants to bring in a change to the Health OHIP plan, which is Ontario Health Insurance Plan, to state that when you are traveling, you will now need insurance, for sure, travel insurance, because OHIP, which used to pay a portion of that, will no longer be paying any, any of your travel insurance if you are sick or injured while out of the country. I'm here to tell you that OHIP actually only pays less than 5% of your plan as it is anyway, so really, that's not a huge news for us uh, travelers out there. You've always and will continue to still need travel insurance when you leave province and when you leave the country. Like for instance, here I am in Niagara Falls. Many of us here on the Canadian side, when we are here, we want to hop over the border and go shopping over there, there to yeah. America. Yes. And sometimes we do that and we don't even think that we need insurance and that's just not the case at all because the minute that you cross over that border, you will need travel insurance to make sure that you are protected against anything that happens to you. The news that came across my desk this week was also um, America is um, stating now about travel to Cuba is they want to change it so that it's only if you have family there so no longer will you be able to vacation there only if you have family and you're going over to visit them now that's nothing new to America I'm sure that you've gone back and forth and back and forth on what it is in terms of your travel to Cuba because under different administrations, they bring in different rules on how you can do that. So that's another rule that they want to bring in. I didn't know that. Also, the other day I was just rummaging through my purse. And I was going, oh my God, like it is so dark. I wish they had a light that would light up every time you opened your purse. Did you realize that when you are traveling now, you're not allowed to have any lithium batteries in your luggage, especially your check bags. You're no longer allowed to have lithium batteries, of course, because of a fire hazard. If you have any aerosols, which is next to your lithium batteries, it is potential for uh, fire, and they have proven that. These are some of the little facts that have come across my desk recently, and I just wanted to pass that on to you. thought that maybe if I've just learned about these things, it will enlighten you as well. Thank you so much again for joining me, and hey, love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, as well as a comment in the section down below. If you did not know any of these facts, or if you haven't have, or if you have any other facts that you can add to this in regards to travel. In the meantime, if this is your first time visiting this channel, please consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button, which is down below, as well as the bell, which will notify you that I've just uploaded a new video, and I am here every single week bringing you different tips on travel. And Until we meet again next week, if this is your time to travel, yeah. I wish you a safe trip there, as well as a safe trip. Ciao for now.